There comes a time I won't belong. Hi, this is Dina with Pretty Productive. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, thank you so much for joining me. Please consider subscribing for all future videos. Today what I'm going to be doing is an unstuffing of my cash envelopes, my sinking funds, and I have decided to go ahead and take back a big portion of what I have in my sinking funds back to the bank because I sat down the other day and I had a budget meeting with my husband and he does not understand <laughs> and maybe you can feel my pain he doesn't understand why I keep cash that this much cash in the house um when I'm using my credit card and paying it back and you know I do like to use cash I do like to track it for cash by category but at the end of the day it's it was more than I feel comfortable having here at the house. So what you're gonna see me do is go ahead and take that cash out, take it back to the bank. Um, I am gonna create a sinking fund savings account at Capital One. That will be one big account for all of the ones that were in my envelopes and then my online savings, my online accounts like for technology, Christmas gifts, things like that will remain the same. So let's go ahead and get started. So before I can take out the cash and put in placeholders, and I realized the other day I didn't have placeholders, so I just made some up really quickly in three, two, and five hundreds. Um, so I'll use those two, so I can just kind of keep everything straight in my head. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and, I've gone through and listed all my transactions for the month. I actually had to go on to a third page. Um, and I will go ahead and take the cash out of these envelopes and then I'll move this to the side. So for eating out, I need to take out $92. Um, I think that's about everything I have in here. We definitely ate out a lot this week. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, what did I say? 92, I'm gonna just take out 91 and I'll put the 10 back in. And then for spending, I did um, use 20 on my card, so I'm gonna take that back out and put it back in here. So let me just go ahead and do it this way so I can kind of keep this straight. And then for Um, let's see, for gifts, that's an online transfer. Household is 16. So let's see, 5, 10, 15, 16. So 16 will go back to bank. And I'll update all my trackers later. Um, cleaning, I am going to have um, my house cleaned again, so I will take this, roll this over, and then add to that. Um, let's see, clothes, I used 75, so I'm going to put this on here, on that side. It'll be easier. So I need to take out 75. So I'm going to take out 100 and put 25 back in. So now I have 100, 200, 300, 320, 340, 355 left in clothing. And then these all stay the same. Okay. And then as far as my other sinking funds go, I need to take out in arts and crafts, $71, because this time I made this also my sticker fund. So, let's see. So, 50, 71, and I had already taken out 54 at the beginning, uh, last week, I think, in my. So in arts and crafts, I have left 20, 40, 60, 81, 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 128. Not empty yet, but getting there. <laughs> and 
and then in electricity, fitness, glasses, join. No, nope, nothing else there. And then in this binder, I took you take out twenty dollars from Liam and Milo. And I used $5 cash out of here, and then I forgot to grab the rest, so I'm gonna take 20 out. Went and got Liam's nails cut when he was with me this weekend. And I think that is everything. Um, I took out of my nieces and nephews, but I did take cash for the gift. Everything else should be good. Okay, let's see here, including grocery. Okay, so it's everything that I need to take out in cash. So this all needs to go back to bank. So 150, 250, 270, 280, 285, 93. So 293 goes into my back to bank. And I've paid everything, but I think $500 on my Capital One. So this will go back to bank to pay off my Capital One at the end of the month. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with this one. I'll take this to the side and I'll bring this out. So this sheet is what I used at the end of every month to reconcile my sinking funds and to know what I need to fund for the fall for the next month. So I've worked on my May budget. It's not pretty guys. <laughs> um, things have come into my budget that I, um, my husband has been paying out of his income. He stopped working on April 1st. Um, we took our taxes that we got back and we paid $2,000 to do COBRA for medical insurance. Um, so that money came in and went right back out again. And then um, we are going to use our medical spending account until that runs out or one of us gets a full-time job with medical insurance. So that's our plan right now and we will kind of figure that out as we go. So um, going through these, and there, there is still going to be money in some of these because there's still ones that I would use cash for and I'm going to be adding cash. So when they get to a certain point again, then I'll empty them out again. So for the first one, arts and crafts, I am going to leave, um, let me see. I think I'm going to leave this in here. So I'm going to leave arts and crafts because I will take that money when I go to Walmart. Beauty and skincare, I am going to take out, and that is $300. And that is because I will use uh, this online. And so I will put in the $300 placeholder. I kind of just did these really fast the other night. Um, I did them on transparency film and then I laminated them so they'd be a little bit, they'd still be pliable and fit inside here, but I could at least um, do it quickly at, at my house. Uh, car maintenance stays just because the bulk of this is on the online account. Date, light, date night stays. Dental, um, I'm going to wait and oh i do have 200 okay so i'm going to put 200 in here and i'll leave the 40. i was kind of shocked the other day he asked me how much i had in all of my binders because i lock them up between videos and so i went and got them and counted them and i had over ten thousand dollars in cash so he is right it it shouldn't be here. It should be in the bank. Um, electricity, this is all going back because this is to buffer my summer months. So for this one, it's one, two, three, four, five, five fifty, six, six fifty, six sixty, six eighty, seven hundred, seven twenty, seven forty, seven sixty, seven. 65, 66, and 67. So I will leave 
67 in here because I'm not a placeholder for that. And then I will put a $700 placeholder in here. So a five and a two. I guess I don't have to worry about um, locking them up anymore, huh? Um, fitness, I have 200 in here. So I will go ahead and put a $200 placeholder. And I didn't really calculate how um, many I needed. So we'll see if I have to make more to finish this out. Glasses is actually, I need to to get my glasses ordered. So I have 400 in here. I will leave the 10. So I'll add 200. Um, HOA. Has 100, 200, 300. I will take the 300 and I will add, leave the 20, 40, 60, 75. So 475 is what I have. And again, I'll update all my trackers later. If that is making you nervous, I <laughs> promise I will update all of them. Okay, one down. And then this one, um, I'm gonna leave miscellaneous because that's um, kind of just extra. I still want to have cash at the house. I don't know what to tell you. Um, pest control has 180. So I'm gonna leave that because I did not do $100 ones. Planning has, should be 200. 120, 40, 60, 80, 90, 200, okay. 200 on there. Um, reward has 200. is a category that goes with my goal setting that I'm working on right now. So I like to put benchmarks and then be able to reward myself, whether it be a new outfit or a fun event or, you know, knowing me, stickers or pens, things like that. Um, savings challenge is still going to be cash. Self-care should be 400. Let's see. 150, 200, 250, 270, 290, 310, 330, 350, 370, 80, 90, 95. Okay, so 400. Yeah, I definitely did not make enough of these. Have to use sticky notes going for. <laughs> okay, subscriptions I'm gonna leave because it's not quite a hundred yet. Target already did. Tax prep, I already paid taxes. So there is 400 in taxes. Actually, I'm gonna leave this until I add more and then I'll put a 500 place setter, place holder in there. The rifting I'm going to leave in cash and vitamins I believe I'm going to leave in cash because I don't think I have enough in here. 100, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75. Yeah, not quite 200. So I'll leave that in cash. And 
then this one let's see here so valentine's day is empty st patrick's day has 60 easter is empty family barbecue has 300 So you guys tell me is, do you like to keep in cash? Do you do cashless? I think a lot of people that uh, kind of chimed in on my last cash stuffing is that they have gone cashless. It just has been easier with all the online shopping that they've done lately. Um, I, because I'm not a saver by nature, I kind of like the cash. Um, it's harder for me to spend kind of, it's weird. Um, let's see, Christmas is online. My birthday is 500. One, two, 250, three, 350, four, 455. So I will put a $500 placeholder in here. Um, my husband's birthday, one, to 350 so I'll leave the 50 Put 300 in there um, my daughter's birthday is also 500 100 200 253 placeholder in there. Um, my daughter and son-in-law is, let's see what I have left. I have 500 left. Oh, I have one 300. Okay, so 100, 200, 300. I'm gonna put 300 away. Put this last three. So 405 stays in here. Nieces and nephews, I'm gonna leave in cash because they, um, I usually give them some cash and a present. So that's 150, 60, 70, 80, 90, 95, 210. So yeah, I'm gonna leave that in cash. Um, family birthday is 100, 200, 300, 400, and 35. Okay, I'm gonna put a 300 in. So one, two, three. 100, 200, 300. Okay, so that's 300, 350, 4, 420, 435. Is that right? Yes, 435. Okay, so Adventure I am getting rid of because I have not used it, but that $100 is gonna go into my Disney. So Disney has 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900. Then I'm going to take the 100 for adventure. So that's a thousand that I'll have for Disney. And I'll put two 500s in there. Okay, and then for my daughter's dogs, I'm gonna keep this in cash, I believe. 51, 2, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300. Um, oh, because I just took money out. Okay, I was like, wait a minute. Okay, I took money out of here for the growers. One, two, three, 60, 80. Okay, so I'm gonna leave that. 
I'm gonna count this again. <laughs> 51, 52, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90. Yep, okay, that's right. I just took out $20, so that's good. Okay, so that is the envelopes. And then, I'm gonna come up here and let's just make sure we did this right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, two thousand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, two thousand. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so that's 3,800. 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, and 900. So 1900 and 50s. Oh my God, what are these doing? <laughs> Plus 100, another 150. So 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40. So 240 and 20s. 30 and 10s, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 30 in fives. So I'll be taking back $6,100. Why does that not seem right? Probably is, I need to add up what's still left in cash and then I will be right back. Okay, that was a little bit longer than a minute. <laughs> Um, so what I did is this is a spreadsheet that I have in um, Excel and so what I do each month is I start with what my goal is for that category, my beginning balance, what I added for the month. This plus plus column I have not done yet because I have not stuffed my incremental income yet. I did take the $100 out of Adventures and I put it into Disney's to make sure I had that balanced out. And then this is everything I use from each one of my sinking funds. And then this is my ending balance. So I started the month with 52167 And that's because my I have my house rental uh, sinking fund up here. I added 2870 I actually plus 100. So 2970 I used 1806 and that gives me an ending balance for sinking funds of 53,331. So that balanced. Took me a couple times because there was a few things that were a little off. Like I had missed one of my household transactions. So I need to go back and look at um, my monthly view on my planner to see where that one went. Um, it may just be that I missed writing it down here um, and on my tracker because um, I know what I have, so I've got to figure out where that went. So um, overall, good. Um, so I still have in my cash envelopes $2,403. And I'm taking back to the bank, and I did count this correctly, thank God, um, of $6,100. That will open up my savings account um, on Capital One for just sinking funds. So they'll all be together, but I will still track them separately because I don't want to spend a lot in a category, say planner, which is a category I often go over. Um, I don't want to spend more than I have budgeted for that, even though in the moment I could, you know, theoretically spend more because it's not in a cash envelope. Um, I would then need to pay that back so that I wasn't stealing from another category. So I am still going to keep the ones highlighted in blue separate. My car maintenance, my Christmas fun, my Etsy shop, gifts, and gifts are just general gifts like uh, Mother's Day, shower, um, wedding, things like that. 
Health and Medical is an online account. I'll keep that one separately. House Reno is an online account. Of course, we'll keep that separately. Savings is my 10% of my income that I save is a separate savings account attached to my credit union. I wanted that to be really liquid because I don't plan on spending that. Um, taxes will be, it's not currently an online account. Um, technology is, and vacation um, is a separate savings account attached to my credit union as well. Um, anything that is blue is just a transfer that I do at the beginning or the end of the month and then the rest are pulled out in cash and then will eventually as I get to a threshold of 200, 300, 500,000 then I'll put in a placeholder going forward. So that is what my plan is. I think this will make my husband much happier <laughs> to know that this is back in the bank and safe and um, but I still kind of a nice compromise with me being able to keep my cash binders. So that is everything for this video. Now what my next step will be, well I will take um, this ending balance, I will move it over to my beginning balance and then I will um, start my cash stuffing and my budget layout for the month of May. Okay, thank you so much. And if you have any questions, please let me know. Take care, bye. There comes a time.